Hey, what's up, looters? Judd Modella here. Welcome to Judd's Loot Box, where I post anything and everything about toys and collectibles. Ouch! All right, we're still here right now. Uh, of course, unboxing more and more toys that we scored from UnboxCon 2023. And as you can see, we have a couple boxes here. Of course, we have one from Mutang Pack Studio. This one's called Thiago. There you go. And of course, we have this guy over here, Wolf Boy from Eight Fingers Folded Studio. And there's also a gift from them. Aww. Wait, there. It's, it's a blank. We're gonna open that later on. This piece, Childish Chaos. Ah. This is from Jory, right? And of course, we have toys from Sarah, the blind Seraphim over here. And this other one is from the Unbox Con, the Shadow Sunset. And this one's, I think, the OG. All right, so we are gonna open these pieces today. Let's open Mutang Pack first. Uh, I think these guys are new in the, the business because uh, they're also one of the first few people who handed me this piece when I arrived at the, the Unbox Con. So again, this is the box. It says Mutang Pack Studio, and this is Thiago. There you go. And it is painted by Esia. Is it Esia or Isha? Pag local, Esia. Okay. Pag important, Isha. Oh, ah, yeah. Galing. Shout out to Sir Franz. Right? Okay, let's open this up. Oh, congrats. This is a Chase Edition. 18 of 20. 2023, of course, from our friends here. Uh, Samutang Pack Studio. They signed it over here. This is to certify that this awesome looking steampunk Astro Reaper is authentic and originally made by Mutang Pack Studio. Thank you so much. Here, specially signed for me. Ooh, look at this, guys. Look at this. It comes with its own scythe. All right, so there you go, guys. That's Thiago, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I love him. Look at the paint job, guys. All right, I'm gonna turn him around. Look at that. Really, really nice. All right. I love the retro colors of this piece. It's very retro. There you go. All right, that is Thiago. Put him aside. All right, next one that we're gonna open is, uh, of course, here. Let's let's open this big one because this was one of the last pieces that was handed to me uh, before we left uh, UnboxCon. And this was also one of the pieces that really caught my eye in the display that they had uh, at Meat Space, right? So this one is the box. It says, set includes one random Chase Edition figure. And... Uh, this is how it looks, I guess. Oh, there. All right, so let's open this. Childish Chaos, one of eight. Number one of eight. OG toy collection. As a pop art abstract artist, I enjoy exploring the theme of childhood and other childlike topics. My toy art explores a child's journey towards messy things, mistakes, and mischief. My work aims to capture the innocence of joy of childhood, where making a mess or a mistake was not a big deal, but rather a fun and normal part of the creative process. As children, we are fearless in our approach to exploring the world and expressing ourselves through art. We don't worry about getting it right or being perfect. We just create for the pure joy of it. However, as we grow older, we start to internalize societal expectations of perfection, leading us to fear mistakes and avoid taking risks. Through my art toy, I want to encourage viewers to embrace their inner child and the freedom of expression that comes with it. To remind them that making mistakes and getting messy can lead to beautiful and unexpected results. My work also serves as a commentary on the pressures of adulthood and the importance of reclaiming the joy and playfulness of childhood. Aww. That's very, very nice. I actually really, really believe in this uh, idea that when you're kids, life was simple. You didn't have to think about anything. You just did what made you happy. You explored, you experimented, and if things didn't work out, it's okay, right? Do it again or improve or, or whatever. Uh, but as we grow older, we get uh, pressured by uh, our environment, our peers, and sometimes we need affirmation from other people if our 
if our work is is, is good enough um, but uh, sometimes that's how you establish yourself as an artist you do not have to listen to what other people say uh, will say because whatever comes out of your brain or your mind or your creativity is going to be your identity as an artist so uh, this piece is made by Jory and I had the pleasure of meeting her uh, and she mismo ang nagbigay sa akin ito and uh, this is so cute guys I actually saw this already but uh, I put it back in the box okay we have stickers like cubes of meat because it's from meat space guys check out their social media accounts there's another cube of meat here which is making me uh, crave for Wagyu. Yeah. This is the, the body. Of course, now you know who this character is. It's Elmo. Not somebody who looks like Elmo. So this is Childish Chaos. And it also comes with his own cookie. But, you know, Cookie Monster is going to find it. So good luck, little one. All right, I really love it. I really like the weight, the size, and uh, I wonder how much this one is. But you know what? Sometimes it's not the value, like the, the monetary value of this piece. It's more of the intent because I am really, really honored that, uh, you know, the, the, the artist really came to my booth and gave me this number one of the toy. Aww she made and of course it is signed there you go the paint job is really nice it's a little shimmery shim shim shimmery shim shim shimmery okay. and guys look at the eyes and you know what i remember the artist telling me that every piece that she made is really unique because no two eyes are the same yeah so this is pretty unique all right next one that we're gonna open is sarah i think this is also their first character this is the first one that i got from them but i didn't open it yet you know sometimes there are things that require the right timing or sometimes you're just too busy but you know you contain the excitement all right so this is the box and this one's called sarah the blind seraphim and this is from sarah licks and uh i'm just so honored again because um, like the artist who made this uh, expressed that uh, the reason why he came up with this toy is because he was inspired by my posts, my Aww. toys. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I get to inspire these artists. I get to give them a little push uh, through inspiration and encouragement through the videos that I post and through the toys that I release. And yeah, that's what he said. Uh, it was because of my videos on YouTube that he got the uh, you know the courage to release his very first toy which is Sarah sino kaya ang ano sino kaya ang model nito ako kaya oh, yeah. oh there's a feather an angel feather a black envelope oh this is so pretty it comes with stickers beautiful stickers they're like holographic stickers there you go ah oh, so pretty and it comes with this card. Ooh. And it has a, a QR code. The Tale of Sarah, the Blind Seraphim. I'm gonna check this out later. And the Certificate of Authenticity. Sarah, the Blind Seraphim, Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that this piece of art identified herein is an original, authentic art toy produced by Sarah Licks, aka Kenneth E. Better. Uh, this piece has been hand-signed by the artist. All rights to the art toy are fully retained by the artist. This is one of ten. Number one of ten. Sarah the Blind Seraphim, original colorway. Artist is Sarah Licks. Medium acrylic on resin. Size 7 inches. Oy. Oh, it's heavy, ah. It's heavy. Okay, let me remove the wings over here. Okay, this is so nice because... Um, you know, me personally, I am fond of, of angels. And uh, whenever I read stuff about angels, they kind of give us a different view on how they really look. Because uh, when we were growing up, we already have like a view of when they say it's a cherub or a seraphim. You see, cherub, it's like babies, diba? like heads with, with wings. And um, 
there are also interpretations of other uh, how these angels look. So uh, I think this one is uh, based on how uh, the seraphim actually looks with many um, wings. So this is how Sarah looks. Okay, so the, the head is uh, detachable. All right, so you can position it wherever you want. Look at that, guys. This is so pretty. Ah, so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, he kind of reminds me of me. Aww. Maybe it's me. You're the one I love. Okay. All right, so it's pretty. Very, very nice. Good job, Sarah Lix. Ah, it's so nice. I'm happy that I kind of reserved opening or unboxing this, this piece today because um, I got another piece that was released at the uh, Unbox Con. It's another colorway and they call this uh, Sarah, the Blind Seraphim. And the title is Shadow Sunset. Ooh, oh my gosh, there's a story. Guys, can I read the story? Sarah the Blind Seraphim. Demons born from the Hellmouth run rampant across the lands, bringing chaos and death in their wake. Only angels trained within the heaven sky can fight back against their car carnage. Powerful as they may be, these angels winning countless battles, the victory of war is still far beyond their reach. The rogue lights emerged from the heaven sky, an elite squad of angels who far exceeded expectations. Leading this group is Sarah. He is revered, he is revered, is it revered? For his skills, strength, and resolve as the angel who once fought and deterred the demon lord, buying them years to prepare for the coming storm. Uh, Sarah the Blind Seraphim is steadfast in leading the rogue lights to rid, rid the world of its darkness. It is the only way he knows to end all the pain, the destruction, and the deaths. It is the only way to stop the past from haunting him, a past that has led him to renounce the gift of sight. Oh. Uh, the reason why he has covered his eyes with his wings, blinding himself from the world. Time has come and gone, and now the brewing storm has announced its arrival. The sea, a sea of demons erupted from the gates of hell, and among these monsters was one familiar to him. After years of living in darkness, brought by embitter, embittered regret, Sarah opened his eyes once again, only to find that person has now withered, almost desecrated, transformed into horror by the bowels of the underworld. Sarah has the decision to make, save an old friend, and risk the world being ravaged to non-existence or honor his duty and destroy the harbinger of darkness. Oh, that is an interesting story. All right, and there's a sticker, Unbox Con 2023. So it's an exclusive. Um, that's the details over there. And now we will now open it. And now we will now open it. Just to me. All right, so it comes with another, oh, an orange feather. I like. And it comes with, again, stickers, another card, and their certificate of authenticity, same, same thing. Oh, beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Serilix, amazing work. Oh my gosh. So far, this batch that I unboxed are amazing. And to think they are new artists, guys. Yay, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy and I'm very proud of these artists. That is so pretty. Look at that, guys. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message Sarah Lix. I'm so happy. Very, very proud of this work. It's, it's very, very detailed, but at the same time, it's still urban, very street because of uh, the hoodie. The sweater, the, the joggers, and even the, the kicks. But uh, the details for the wings are just amazing. Beautiful. Yay! Congratulations! So far, this is my favorite. So far. One of my favorites. Okay. Alright, so next, we are going to be opening uh, the last artist's work over here. This one is uh, The Wolf Boy by Eight Fingers Folded Studio. The artwork here is by Ivan Void, story by Charlene Sawit Esguera. I'm gonna read the story, okay? Chapter 2, The Return of the Wolf. Ah, in chapter 1? I missed it. I think this is not a new piece. But I really loved it when I saw it. Anyway, let's read it. He's back, said the blood-red blood letters spray-painted across the walls of Gori High. 
Shadows whisper about his return in dark back alleys where secret deals and secret, ide secret deeds are made. People talk about it on the street, in their homes, even in places beyond Gory Hollow. The news is met with excitement, disbelief, and dread. They thought he was gone for good, the most notorious orphan ever to come out of St. Belair's home for motherless monsters, Wolf Boy, outsider, heartbreaker, hellraiser. Was he really spotted on the highway on a full moon night, a duffel bag slung over his shoulder, headed towards town? If so, where did he come from? After he disappeared that bloody night of the infamous gang rumbles, rumors floated around that he joined the military, a bomb squad, the mafia, or that he was now leader of a biker gang that roared into city after city, leaving a trail of mayhem in its wake. His friends swear he's got a heart of gold, but does he really? Because everyone knows the minute he steps into town, there will be trouble. Wolf Boy is back and he looks badder than ever. Wolf, Wolf, Boy? Wolf Boy version 2. Varsity Limited Edition 23. Ooh, so this is the version 2. I wonder where I can get the version 1. Eight fingers, full dead studio. Version 1, please. Okay, let's let's slide this out. Alright. Comes with this. It says Maraming Salamat. Thank you very much. Your support is much appreciated. We hope that you'll enjoy this toy as much as we enjoyed creating it. Ooh, priority purchase stub. Oh, congrats to your first dibs on our next figure release, Drac. Ah, I saw Drac. He is so cool. Yay. Yay. And he comes with like stickers. Yung pang school, di ba yung gumaganan ganon pag. Anyway, there's another sticker here. There's a lot more stickers actually here. Para siyang logo ng school. I love it, ah. It's nice. Very, very nice. Look at this. It comes with a basketball. It comes with a bomb. And the actual toy. There you go. I love it! And he comes with a fabric duffel bag. If I remember, um, I think one of the wives or relatives of the artists actually hands hand sews or hand sew hand so tahe yeah they tahe it themselves look at that amazing oh my god ah oh. ah oh. oh, this is nice i think this is my most favorite piece no one of my most favorite pieces during the unbox con I love Sarah. I love Jory's uh, childhood chaos. Uh, and I love this. Tiago. Okay, you know what? I really love like um, worn out painting because it looks very vintage. And I'm very happy with this. Okay, so okay, so where do we put this? We just put it there on his foot. And we just put his duffel bag behind him. This is really nice. One of my personal favorites. Oh, yeah. Okay, wag kayo magtampo, ha. Sabi ko, one of my personal favorite. Guys, I just have to say that because artists are all naturally tam matampuhin. <laughs> ha? Really? Yeah. I mean, like, hindi mo lang napansin or hindi mo lang... It doesn't mean, guys, that I don't like your work. I love it as long as I have it. Right? How can I say I like it if it's not with me? Diba? And I'm just so happy because um, Sarah gave me number one of five. Yeah, I supported this one. I, I bought this one. And then, I'm not sure kung bigay or bibilhin ko. Hindi pa naman sila nag-text. Pero binigay lang nila sa akin. And I'm like, thank you. But, you know what? If it's, I have to pay for it, just message me. It doesn't matter because this is worth paying for. Right? Ito, binili ko din to. And this one is a gift from them actually. Hui. It's a blank! Yahoo! Look at that. It's a blank, ladies and gentlemen. Wala nang ibang kasama yan. Okay, wala na. I have this very bad ano kasi of throwing out boxes. And sometimes there's still stuff inside. So, anyway, yeah. They gave me this blank. I don't know if I'm gonna like leave it blank or paint it. But it kind of looks really, really nice. Amazing. Alright, may pahabol pa tayo. Isang bagong toy din. 
This one's uh, from uh, Daddy Panda Rob. And he writes, Hobbies Never Stop. Unlimited Diversion. And uh, Unlimited Diversion again over here. May pa surprise, di ba, yung name. Okay, so, Daming Free Beast. All right, so th these are stickers. Stickers, stickers, stickers. There you go. The first time I uh, saw um, the work of Daddy Panda, it was um, still in the works, actually. Wala pa. And then, uh, you know, he, he asked me how things go and stuff like that. And uh, I'm happy that, you know, he acknowledges that I'm one of the ones who encouraged him to, to release the toy. And uh, he names it Project Pandekoko. And it comes with its authenticity card. Sobrang social naman itong authenticity card nito. It's number one of 25. And Project Pandekoko. This authenticity card certifies that this art toy with design code PAN0001082022 is an authentic original artwork design created by Robbie Muirong, aka Daddy Panda. All copyright and reproduction rights are reserved by the artist. The artist can be contacted by email or through Facebook and Instagram. Ayan. Love it. Okay, so this is like the cover over here, but it also serves as like an artwork. Uh, Project Pandekoko, the year is 2577 and Android robot fighting is the most watched sporting event on earth. Worldwide, fight fans flock to the arena to take in the action and wager on the action. This is the first chapter in the tale of Pan, the robotic panda, and Coco, his human caretaker. Ooh, both Coco's father and grandfather work with the town's robot fighters. The former is a former, a famous cyber, me, me, cyber mechanic, and the latter is a scrap collector. A member of the family in Coco's eyes is his pet panda. The kid treats the animal like a sibling and feeds it alongside him at mealtimes. He and the panda share a love for mixed martial arts, so he enjoys playing fighter with the panda. Thugs tried to collect scrap metal tacks from Coco's father on one fateful night, but he fought back using his inventions. Coco witnessed the situation and rushed to his father's aid. He and his panda stood up to the thugs who were attacking his father and chased them away. Although Panda did his best to defend Coco, he was ultimately killed by one of the attackers. Aww. Oh no. The child wanted revenge after witnessing the incident, but his father discouraged him. As a result of this incident, a family friend has expressed interest in contributing to this mechanic's participation in the arena. He's confident the cyber mechanic can design a fighting robot that can first place in the tournament. Therefore, he extended an invitation to the victor to participate in the upcoming robot showdown. The cyber mechanic's inspiration for the robotic panda came from the kid's pet panda. Even more impressively, he made use of the panda's intelligence and emotions to guarantee the robot's correct identification of the kid. Consequently, his best friend will be his father's most advanced fighting robot. The young man became his father's apprentice after learning the ropes of robotics and cyber mechanics through his work on the robot. Mechanical Panda Fighter Pan was also created by these people. So begins Pan and Coco's adventure. Hashtag Pan de Coco. Oh, Ay, it's a sad story pala, but let's all be happy because finally, it's here. Long story short, this guy had to, uh, you know, go through a lot of stuff uh, just for this toy to come to life and I am so happy that he is here I've seen prototypes I've seen past works I've heard stories um, but you know that's that's how how colorful an art toy is um, personally when I released voodoo it had to pass through a lot of criticism a lot of you know, hurtful words, but look, he sold out. Come on. So uh, I think Pande Coco deserves the spotlight because he's gone through a lot. And the craftsmanship, the worksmanship is very, very nice. And, uh, you know, knowing the story behind it, it it's kind of heartwarming. There you go. So it doesn't just come as it is because it comes with... Um, extra arms there you go and he comes with spg hands this is for all the bashers and the haters all right so this is for all the bashers and the haters and people who kind of we'll just blur that because we might get 
band or something. Let's bring back the normal hands so you don't have to like blur everything till the end. Amazing! I really like it because it's really tough and solid. It's like, oh, yeah. like Daddy Panda. Check out their social media accounts, guys. And sometimes you will realize that the toys that they make, that they make, kind of look like them, All right? So uh, check them out. All right, so there you have it, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five amazing artists who have created amazing works over here. Let us all check out their social media accounts. Of course, again, let's uh, check out Jory over here. And then Sarah Lix over here. And of course, our friends from Eight Fingers Folded Studio over here. Pande Coco, Daddy Panda over here. And of course, uh, Moot Hang Pack Studio. Ayan. So uh, there you have it, guys. Ah, a whole bunch of art toys today. I'm going to take photos of these guys. So uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to Jed's Loot Box. And also, we have an Instagram account uh, where you can see all the photos and the edits that I make. Uh, Jed's Loot Box as well. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I will see you in the next vlog. Congratulations, artists. You guys are amazing. Ooh.